Hi everyone, I'm Rob and welcome to a series of Rubik's Cube videos that I'm calling Beyond Beginners. Now, this is not about speed cubing. If you're into that, this is gonna be way too basic for you. Instead, it's for a particular niche of person who's just learned the basic method. That, of course, is solving the white cross, solving the white face, solving the middle layer, then solving the yellow cross, solving the yellow face, and finally permuting the last layer so it's solved. And all I want to do is show you a few extra algorithms that make you a little bit more efficient. So in this video, I'm going to show you a technique to solve the middle layer a little quicker. Sometimes you get an edge piece that is in the correct position, but it's flipped, it's the wrong way around. The beginner's method will ask you to perform the same algorithm twice, once to move the piece out of the way and then the same algorithm again to move it back into place the right way round. I'll just show you that now, but maybe we'll speed up the, uh, the solve. But it goes something like this. So that moves the piece to the back and then Put it in position. So as I say, that's quite inefficient and there is a quicker way. Here's the algorithm. <clears throat> so what that means, if you know your notation, which you should do if you've learnt to solve in the beginner's method, uh, that means uh, a half turn on the front face, then a half turn on the top face, an anti-clockwise quarter turn on the right, then a half turn on the front face, a quarter turn on the right face, uh, a half turn on the top face, a, a clockwise turn on the front, then an anti-clockwise turn on the top, and followed by a clockwise turn on the front face. So that's the algorithm, and I'll show you how it works uh, in practice just now. And there you have it, a quicker solve of an edge piece. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and give me a thumbs up.